had a visit to my local IKEA today. I'm one of those people who knows my local IKEA warehouse layout so well that I can get to particular locations in the warehouse without needing to walk through the whole warehouse. They have this annoying way of laying out their warehouse so that you naturally walk through the whole warehouse to get to buy things. But you don't have to if you know things like using shortcuts and using tricks like walking through the checkout and walking through the store backwards. In recent decades, there's been this shift in focus to recognize design and interior decoration as having significant impact on health and well-being. You don't have to spend big. I'll show you here an example of how I frame the normal bookshelf with some plants. And here are some cheap IKEA picture frames that I put home printer printouts of something that's meaningful to me. All oh, these low-cost spending significantly lifts the spirit of a house. So a lot of furniture and supply stores these days don't just sell furniture, they sell a lifestyle. The whole life at home concept encourages people to go beyond thinking about their physical room and thinking about it as living spaces, focus being on the living. This research on how interior design can influence well-being Concepts like ergonomics, and natural lighting, and spatial design all contribute to mental and physical health. So big companies now incorporate these principles into their products, and that suggests that they are tapping into this broader understanding and market demand on using design to impact health. I would suggest you think about your spaces as well, and how you can make small simple changes that lifts you 